Hello, I'm Dr. Leong Ying from Princeton Gamma Tech, and today I'll be demonstrating our handheld isotope identifier, the model PGT950. Alongside it is our latest uh, model, the PGT Lite. I will be demonstrating the use of this unit, which can all be operated by using just one hand. So, the first feature I'll show is to power up the instrument. This is the welcome menu, so now we'll hit the enter button to go into the system menu. As you can see, you can select either to be a user or administrator. The administrator has uh, several more features that you can uh, pre-program, but for this demonstration, uh, we're just using the user features. The first screen that you'll see is uh, a count per second display. As you can also see, when you first power up, it will do an automatic calibration using a potassium K40 uh, source. So you can see the background level right now is around less than 100 counts per second. You show both graphically and also numerically at the top right hand corner here. We also had a neutron counter, which is an optional detector that you can add to this uh, unit. It will also show the neutron count per second here. But for this demonstration, we're only showing uh, gamma count rates. And now it's completing the, the auto calibration features. Okay, that's auto cal uh, completed. Now, if you take the instrument uh, out to field, you may want to do a general background calibration of the, the site, the field that you are. Uh, done. So you can do uh, your own background calibration which is here. You use the scroll button here to select the background feature and you hit the enter button. And then as you can see it says continue. You again hit the enter button to continue the background. Now as default uh, it will take a 60 second background count. But just for this demonstration I'm just going to decrease the count by 30 seconds by scrolling over to this minus 30 seconds and hitting enter. So now the background will only do calibration for 30 seconds. Uh, at the top of the screen you see various color chart. Blue is for industrial, purple is for special nuclear material and blue is for medical radioisotope. So that's the background uh, calibration done and you return back to the main display screen. I'm now going to go to the identify feature menu here. So again, I use the scroll keys to select identify and I hit enter. I'm now going to bring in over a cesium-137 source. As you can see, it almost instantaneously detected this source when I brought it over. Uh, this is identified by the blue color chart, which identifies the cesium as an industrial radioisotope. And again, because I previously selected minus 30 seconds of the analysis time, analysis for this demonstration will only be six, uh, 30 seconds. The default is 60 seconds. And of course, if you wanted to increase the time, you can basically scroll to plus 30 seconds. And you see from the summary of this chart, we have around 1400 gamma counts per second, equivalent to roughly 100 micro-rems per hour activity. Now, <clears throat> this is a summary of the analysis report. Uh, as you can see from this uh, report, this is report number 21. It's identified the nuclear as cesium-137, the class as industrial, the dose rate is 66 counts per second, and the confidence level at 89%. Uh, percent. Uh, you can hear in the background the alarm system, because it's detected the count above the preset alarm level. I'm just going to go to the back button and show you a nice little feature. When you go back to the original display screen, as you can see it's highlighted in red and telling you that the level is now higher than the background level that we saw earlier. 
so this is a nice feature of this instrument. I'm now going to take away the source, remove the source away, and as you see the background level has now returned back to normal and the alarm has now uh, terminated. I will now go into the next feature which is the finder feature. So again I'll use the scroll button to scroll over to finder and I'll hit the enter button. And again it's measuring the background level and you see the background level is below the low level limit. And now I will bring back the cesium 137 source. And as you can see as I instantly identify uh, the source and the alarm is now returned indicating that you have a high background radiation level. I will now remove the source again. Now the source is being removed and again as you can see the alarm goes off and the level is now back below the low level. I will now go back to the main menu where we began. And that completes our demonstration of the instrument. Now let me show you some of the features. The front of this detector is the sodium iodide detector. The back is the photomultiplier tube. As you see it's connected through a cable which is a high voltage and the signal cable to the MCA instrumentation which is housed in this plastic uh, enclosure which obviously has the computer built in as well. The data is stored on a compact flash card and you can store many hundreds of spectra onto this compact flash card. You can also upload this data through this Ethernet connection or through this connector with a special RS-232 adapter. So this data can be uploaded onto your computer. And here I have a preloaded PGT's quantum software and here's an example of a spectra that I took earlier. I would like to show you one feature uh, of Princeton Gamma Tech. We have a patented QCC algorithm which is quadratic compression conversion algorithm. It gives the industry's fastest and most accurate isotopic identification. And this shows you an example for a, a normal uh, collection with a sodium iodide with linear projection of the energy. The low energy peaks are well seen but not the high energy peaks. With our quadratic compression conversion all the peaks from low and high energy are well defined and that's the reason PGT's patented QCC algorithm gives the industry's fastest and most accurate isotopic identification. Thank you.